So that didn't last long. On the second part, I am actually gonna stick with one week video per week. January isn't finished, and I've already broken my New Year's resolution. But I'm okay with that. Because, yeah, New Year's resolution are made to be broken, right? Yeah, it's usually better not to make one. But the weather has been kind of cool. And I want to show you something. Yeah, it's a little bit wide out. You can even see my car over here. Yeah, I did shovel off it just a couple of days ago. So I think that's like two or three days accumulative snow because yeah, I don't use it that much because yeah, I don't mainly just use it when I pop over to the, the other town to shop stuff and so on. But yeah, it's an actual winter wonderland here at the moment and a little bit chilly. And one more thing, can you see that popsicle? Yeah, that's a big one. It's a huge one. I would think it's about one and a half meter. And yeah, it's absolutely massive. So cool. And a fun little fact. These popsicles in Icelandic are called Grilukerti. And if you remember my Christmas video, I talked about the mother of the, of the Santas, all 13 of them. Well, her name was Grilla. Yeah. So that's her candle, Grilukerti. So yeah, just a, just a little tidbit. I just wanted to add that. That brings me to the next point. And that is, the heat is working. I just had to, yeah. Let, let, let's just say I had to bleed it wet. Not dry, because that would be wrong because it's water-based heating system. But yeah, I had to bleed it wet. So I got all the air out of it and I have actually gotten the system to be stabilized so it actually works. But I have other stuff to do, so let's go for that. So yeah, that's the current weather. But my plans for this video are quite simple. Since I installed the fiber internet connection in the last video, I want to hardwire the internet connection to my TV because, yeah, I hate Wi-Fi on streaming devices like TVs and so on. Yeah, that, in my opinion, that should be hardwired. So what I'm going to do is on the TV, uh, if you remember correctly from a previous video, uh, when I put in the electrical outlets there, I left one for the internet connection. That connection is now going to be connected up and connected to the router, so I will have a proper connection to the TV. So yeah, let's get to that. Yeah, a little bit, of, yeah, a little bit better lighting. So yeah, let me show you what I'm going to do. So I've already moved this out of the way and cleaned up all of the dog hair, and I mean all the dog hair. Hugo has enough of them obviously. So what I need to do is I need to take this outlet and open it up again. It's quite simple. But after that, I can get to the Cat5 cat cable over there, the internet cable, and I can start working on it. It's only a single cable, but I'm going to be using two cables because I want two cables for reasons. But yeah, it's going to be, yeah, two plugs there. But first, I have to open it up. So let's do that. And like I said, it's only a single cable, but I want two cables. So, I don't know what it's called in English, but the literal translation is feather, which I'm going to tape onto the end of this. And then I'm going to pull this one down to the basement and hook it up to a second one. So I'll have two. So yeah, let's fetch the feather and tape. I, so I got the feather. I just need to hook it up so it sticks together and then I can go and pull the internet cable into the basement, leaving the feather so I can hook up a secondary wire 
or cable up to it. So yeah, let's do that. And that's that. Just gonna try to push it a little bit. Okay. Now let's go downstairs. So after trying and trying and trying and trying and trying to get two cat cables through that tiny little tube, yeah, I failed. Either it's my incompetence or it's just too tight. I would like to think it's the latter. Yeah. Always funny saying something's too tight, but yeah. So what I'm going to do now is so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hook up this single strand here. I had, it had places for two. I'll just have to swap that out later on for a single one. Shouldn't be that not much of a problem. But yeah, I'm going to stay with a single one. And when I'm done here, I'm going to go into the basement, cap off and terminate that end and hook it up to the router. And then I should be able just to hook up the TV. But yeah, let's do that. So the upstairs is done, now I just have to need to do the downstairs. So yeah, let's get to that. One thing I've got to say, it's a little bit better working conditions down here. But yeah, 
let's try to finish this. Since this isn't the finished wall, I'm just going to put on the termination and then a cable into my home lab and call it quits there because yeah, I have to still do these walls all over and kind of be useless completing them because I don't have any cans to put them into. So. Yeah. Let's find out. And let's see if I did it correctly after I plugged in the electricity for the TV. Okay, my electricity is on. Now let's turn it on. And it works perfectly. So yeah, that was that. So uh, up next, let me turn off the TV. So yeah, everything works on the internet for the TV. So I'm happy, I'm really happy. I'm actually really happy. I just need to clean up everything after me, which I won't bother you with. You've seen enough cleaning videos from me so yeah, I'll let that do. But, well, it was a small project, but it was a project though. But I, yes, I have been procrastinating, but I do feel like I, it's just a little bit, have a little bit of a leeway for that. But let's hope the procrastination just isn't there for good, but it isn't, I'll just keep on going. And yeah, uh, next up is going to be the guest room because I'm getting a spare bed delivered in the w next week. So I need to clean everything out there. So everything's going to be perfect. Yeah, and I think it's going to be just fine. And yeah, it's coming all along. And by the way, it's been one year since I actually uploaded the first video, the introduction to the house. And I recently watched it back again and yeah. I think I can be a little bit proud of myself. My friend is always bugging me and always saying, you should be proud of yourself you should, for what you've done. And I've always felt like just a little bit guilty for feeling happy about how much I've done because I felt always that I needed to be doing more and should have been doing more, but I'm actually just happy. And I hope you're happy too. So I'll see you in the next video, but remember to like and subscribe. See ya.